Barabbas, Aramaic, Is Bur B Bar Abba, literally, son of the father, is a figure mentioned in the New Testament of the Bible, in which he is an insurrectionary held by the Roman governor at the same time as Jesus, and whom Pontius Pilate freed at the Passover feast in Jerusalem, while keeping Jesus as a prisoner. <laughs> Biblical account According to all four canonical Gospels there was a prevailing Passover custom in Jerusalem that allowed or required Pilate, the prefectus or governor of Judea, to commute one prisoner's death sentence by popular acclaim, and the crowd, each loss, the Jews, and the multitude, in some sources, were offered a choice of whether to have either Barabbas or Jesus released from Roman custody. According to the Synoptic Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and the account in John, the crowd chose Barabbas to be released and Jesus of Nazareth to be crucified. Pilate is portrayed as reluctantly yielding to the insistence of the crowd. A passage found only in the Gospel of Matthew has the crowd saying of Jesus, Let his blood be upon us and upon our children. Matthew refers to Barabbas only as a notorious prisoner. Mark and Luke further refer to Barabbas as one involved in a stasis stasis, a riot, probably one of the numerous insurrections against the Roman power who had committed murder. Robert Eisenman states that John chapter 18 verse 40 refers to Barabbas as a least's bandit. The word Josephus always employs when talking about revolutionaries. Three Gospels state that there was a custom that at Passover the Roman governor would release a prisoner of the crowd's choice, Mark chapter 15 verse 6, Matthew chapter 27 verse 15, and John chapter 18 verse 39. Later copies of Luke contain a corresponding verse Luke chapter 23 verse 17, although this is not present in the earliest manuscripts, and may be a later gloss to bring Luke into conformity. The custom of releasing prisoners in Jerusalem at Passover is known as the Paschal Pardon, but this custom whether at Passover or any other time is not recorded in any historical document other than the Gospels, leading some scholars to question its historicity. Topic. Etymology. Topic. Barabbas. Name appears as Barabbas in the Greek texts of the Gospels. It is derived ultimately from the Aramaic bridge B, Bar Abba, son of the father. Some ancient manuscripts of Matthew chapter 27 verses 16 to 17 have the full name of Barabbas as Jesus Barabbas and this was probably the name as originally written in the text. Early church father Origen was troubled by the fact that his copies of the Gospels gave Barabbas' name as Jesus Barabbas, and declared that since it was impossible he could have had such a holy name, Jesus must have been added to Barabbas' name by a heretic. It is possible that later scribes, copying the passage, removed the name Jesus from Jesus Barabbas. To avoid dishonor to the name of Jesus the Messiah, Abba has been found as a personal name in a first-century burial at Givat HaMivtar, and Abba also appears as a personal name frequently in the Gemara section of the Talmud, dating from AD 200 to 400. Antisemitism the story of Barabbas has special social significance because it has historically been used to lay the blame for the crucifixion of Jesus on the Jews, and to justify antisemitism—an interpretation, known as Jewish deicide. Pope Benedict XVI in his 2011 book Jesus of Nazareth, dismisses this reading, in which he translates, each loss, in Matthew as, crowd, rather than to mean the Jewish people. Possible parable Topic. This practice of releasing a prisoner is said by McGee and others to be a literary creation of Mark, who needed to have a contrast to the true son of the father, in order to set up an edifying contest, in a form of parable. Dennis MacDonald, in the Homeric Epics and the Gospel of Mark, notes that an episode similar to the one that occurs in Mark, of a crowd picking one figure over another figure similar to the other, occurred in the Odyssey, where Odysseus entered the palace disguised as a beggar and defeated his wife's suitors to reclaim his throne. 
MacDonald suggests Mark borrowed from this section of the Odyssey and used it to pen the Barabbas tale, only this time Jesus, the protagonist, loses to highlight the cruelty of Jesus' persecutors. However, this theory is rejected by other scholars. <laughs> Modern views According to historian Max Damon, the story of Barabbas as related in the Gospels lacks credibility from the Roman standpoint, as it presents the Roman authority, Pontius Pilate, backed by overwhelming military might, being cowed by a small crowd of unarmed civilians into releasing a prisoner condemned to death for insurrection against the Roman Empire. A Roman governor who had done that could have faced execution himself. Benjamin Arusha, co author of the Logia of Yeshua, the Sayings of Jesus, agrees with a well known theory in biblical scholarship as presented, for instance, by Chaim Maccabi, which says that Yeshua bar Abba or Jesus Barabbas must be none other than Jesus of Nazareth, and that the choice between two prisoners is a fiction. Maccabi concludes that some of the acts attributed to Barabbas must then historically have been committed by Jesus, a view shared by Peter Cresswell. Arusha opposes the notion that Jesus may have either led or planned a violent insurrection. Jesus, in this view, must have been the planner and leader of the Jewish nonviolent resistance to Pilate's plan to set up Roman eagle standards on Jerusalem's Temple Mount. The story of this successful resistance is told by Josephus, who does not say who the leader was, but does tell of Pilate's crucifixion of Jesus just two paragraphs later in a passage whose authenticity is disputed. Topic. Art, literature, and media Topic. In Spanish, Barabbas is a colloquial word for a bad or naughty person. In The Liar's Gospel, a 2012 novel by Naomi Alderman, Barabbas is one of the protagonists and Alderman depicts Barabbas rather than Jesus as the man who summons fishermen. The Belgian comics character Professor Barabbas is named after the biblical character. Fulton Auersler, in his novel, The Greatest Story Ever Told, portrays Barabbas as a friend of Saint Joseph, who was the husband of Mary and the stepfather of Jesus. Joseph's friend, originally known as Samuel, is a member of a group dedicated to the overthrow of Roman rule. Samuel, acquainted with the story of Jesus' birth, tells Joseph that he is choosing the name, Jesus Barabbas. The 1961 movie, Barabbas based on the novel by Par Lagerkvist, depicts the life of the biblical figure following the crucifixion as he seeks salvation. See also Biblical criticism Historicity of Jesus Textual criticism References Topic. Notes Bibliography Brown, Raymond E. 1994. The Death of the Messiah, Volume 1. New York, Doubleday.